Hey guys, and welcome to my eyeshadow palette collection and small declutter. It's mostly a collection video. I did one at the beginning of the year and I wanted to do an updated version. I do plan on getting rid of a few palettes, but probably not a lot. I have 103 eyeshadow palettes here. That does include magnetic palettes and little quads, all of that. I did do a few other declutter videos in the last month. I did lipstick, lip gloss, and blush. I will link those in the cards and the description box. And the palettes that I'm getting rid of, I will probably give to friends and family. I upload four videos a week. Stay tuned for more and let's get started. These are mostly organized by brand, but some are a little bit separated. I'm gonna start with Urban Decay and this is the Wired palette. And a lot of people didn't like this one, but I actually did. And I like having such a colorful palette. And this one's a lot of fun. I need to use it more though. It's been a while, but that one is definitely staying. The Naked Reloaded palette. This one is very simple, neutral, but actually I do really enjoy this one. This is one I've hit pan on. Very simple, but again, I do like that one the Naked Honey palette. Now this one is absolutely amazing. One of the best formulated by Urban Decay, I think. Definitely beautiful, really, really enjoy that one. Also, I have the Urban Decay Stoned Vibes. I admit I don't use this one as much as I wish I did. Um, these are more topper shades. They are really, really beautiful. I need to put this in my shop, my stash soon, I think, to get more use out of it. Um, I do enjoy it, but I'm just a little disappointed I haven't used it more. But I am on a low buy this year and I need to cool it on palettes, I think, for a while. I have two palettes from Viseart. This is the Boheme Dream and these metallics are really gorgeous. I really like this formula. And then the other Viseart palette is this one, which is the Warm Mattes. Gosh, again, I haven't used my Viseart palettes in a while. I need to put them in my shop, my stash, but those are really fantastic. I do like them quite a bit. I have these two here from What's Up Beauty, which is an indie brand. These were sent to me in PR. They are really good. This is their newest palette, the Geodes palette. I do have a look and review on a lot of these palettes. So I have a video on this. Um, I will link my eyeshadow palette playlist because there I have ton of eyeshadow related videos, including ranking videos, you know, best affordable palettes, all of that. This one is the Desert Monsoon palette by What's Up Beauty. And this one is really wonderful as well. I think these are formulated really, really nicely. Um, the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts. This is an older palette in my collection, but I really enjoy this one. This one is currently in my shop, my stash, and I definitely look forward to using that one more. Um, this is my only palette from Melt Cosmetics. It's the Gemini 2. I did a look and review on this last month when I got it. And I gotta say, I'm really, really enjoying it. I definitely wanna use it more. Obviously, I have a lot of palettes, 103, kind of a lot. Um, definitely keeping that though. This one is Suva Beauty, the Rose Period Palette. This is really nice. I don't hear a lot of people talking about this one on YouTube, but the formula is fantastic and it's very like pink and purple. And I just think that one is very lovely. Another newer one, again, this is the only one I have from the brand. This is the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2. Did a look and review on this one as well last month and it's stunning, I have to say. This is the first Patrick Ta palette I've tried. I did not buy the first Major Dimension palette, although after having this one, I'm kind of tempted, um, but this one's really, really nice. I think I like that pink color story more than the other one. Next up is the only palette I have from Dominique Cosmetics. This is the Latte palette. And this is great. These metallics are really beautiful. Um, great, I need to put this in my shop, my stash soon because I haven't used it in a while. But I actually think the formula on that one is really, really impressive. Here's an older one that I kind of considered getting rid of, but I just don't know that I'm ready to do that. The original Lorac Pro palette. I still love this and there definitely is a lot of nostalgia for me with this palette. This is my second one. 
I had this palette when it first came out and I used up like the whole lighter half of the palette and I ended up repurchasing it a few years ago. I still like it. I, I'm not ready to get rid of that one. Definitely not. One I considered decluttering is the Ring the Alarm palette from Morphe, but I had this in my Shop My Stash a few weeks ago and I loved the looks that I did with it. I really, I love warm tones for sure. But yeah, I was actually really impressed. So I've decided not to declutter that one, even though I strongly did consider. I also considered decluttering this one, but again, I had it in my shop, my stash a few weeks ago. This is the original Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And even though I don't like big palettes like this anymore and definitely wouldn't buy any at this point, I like the formula and the colors in it are beautiful. There is a lot of variety, although there is some repeat shades, which I don't like. Like I really think a lot of these warm browns and some of these darker browns could have been cut out and it would be just as good. Um, but yeah, I used it, I liked it, it's staying. Um, here we have the Persona. This is the Identity 2. This is the only one I have from this brand. And I love this one, I do. I think that both the mattes and the metallics are really, really nice. Again, I need to put this in my shop, my stash soon. That's kind of like a theme here I'm seeing. Um, but that one's definitely a keeper. The Tarte Toasted Palette, another older palette that I actually still really enjoy. This is one I have traveled with quite a bit because it's compact, it has everything I need, and it's got a nice mirror on it. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm not ready to let go of this one, even though I definitely considered it. Um, yeah, like I said, this is mostly collection, only bit of a declutter because I haven't decluttered anything yet. Um, definitely not getting rid of my Charlotte Tilbury palettes. I really like the formula on her larger palettes. This is the Pillow Talk. It's stunning, beautiful. I did a look with this a couple months ago. Um, I do have one of the quads. I'll just pull that out. I used to have two of the quads. I gave the other one to my mom because I wasn't really using it. This is the Bella Sophia quad and I like it, but I would not buy more of the quads. I just think based on the price and the formula, I don't really think these are worth it, but I do think that the larger palettes are worth it. So I'm going to keep that one but I would not buy more. This one is the Smoky Eyes Are Forever. This is last year's holiday palette, stunning. This green here is amazing. And then the last one from Charlotte Tilbury is two years ago, holiday palette, Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize. So definitely keeping everything from Charlotte Tilbury, but I would not buy more of the quads, that is for sure. But I would buy more of the larger palettes because they, I, I think they're so good. Um, let me, I have this little container here that has some smaller palettes and I have these three here that these I got in PR from ColourPop and I just don't think I need to keep all of them. This one is the strawberry. Whoa, that just broke. <laughs> okay, well, a piece of plastic went flying. This is the Strawberry Sweet Quad, and I do really like pink eyeshadows. I think that this one is nice, even though it just broke. <laughs> I think I wanna keep that one. Um, the purple one is the Acai U, and this one I think I have enough purples, because as you'll see, I have more purple palettes from ColourPop. So this one I actually am gonna give to someone else. And then the other one is called On the Mango. So I'm gonna keep On the Mango and the pink one and the purple one I will give to someone else. I'm gonna start working on this pile over here, which appears to be a combination of Odin's Eye, BH Cosmetics. Um, this one is the Giant Wolves palette and I really like this one. I think this color story is beautiful, yeah. Definitely keeping this one. This one I did get in PR from Odin's Eye. This is the double-sided palette that is the Saga of Freya. So this side is more burgundy tones and then the other side has this really fun color story with the pop of orange and green. I really enjoy their formula, particularly their mattes. Um, and a lot of their metallics are really nice too. They definitely need a wet brush, but 
yeah, those are great. The BH Cosmetics Beautiful in Barcelona. BH is another brand I adore, their formula. This one is in my Shop My Stash. I think this one is beautiful. Definitely loving that one. Um, another one that I bought earlier this year, I got a great deal on this one at um, Marshalls. This is the Switzerland palette. And this one is beautiful as well. I love this like mustardy shade up here. It's really, really nice. BH has a really good formula. Um, another one is the Avocado Toast. I love it. I've done a look on this one, I think earlier this year. Very nice. Um, here we go back to Odin's Eye. This is the Hella Palette. This is the collab with Angie. And this color story is so stunning. It really is. Um, and the formula, again, Odin's Eye has a very consistent formula. I haven't tried their older palettes, but these like newer palettes from them, I think are really, really good. This one is the Saga of Freya Chapter 2 palette. I really like this color story with the teal and the orange. This one is really, really fun. My Juvia's Place palettes, they're not all stacked together, but I do think I am gonna declutter a few from Juvia's Place. This is the magic though, and this one I really love the color story, although this one, the quality on the mattes is not as good. The quality on the shimmers though is amazing, and I enjoy the color selection so much. I definitely want to keep that one. Um, then we have the Bailey Sarian Estate Cosmetics palette. This one's really nice. Again, like I haven't used this in a while. Obviously though, got a lot of palettes, so <laughs> that makes it a bit difficult but I do wanna keep this one. I find the formula on this is really, really nice. These mattes blend so easily, and these are really metallic. You don't even need to spray your brush with those, which is nice. Okay, this is one of my favorite palettes in my collection to this day, and that is the ColourPop So Jaded. I just really love the color story. I think the combo of neutrals and these like gemstone colors are so, so nice. I love these greens. It's just really beautiful. I think this is one of my favorite color stories ever. Um, let me, yeah, I think I'm gonna talk about these other little palettes. So I have one Tom Ford quad and this is the new dip. I definitely would not buy one of these at full price. They're so expensive, but I got this for quite the deal for only $35. Um, I think for like, if you can get them on sale for 50% off, like, yeah, they're worth it. It's nice, but full price, no thank you, would not pay that. Um, here is something newer in my collection. I just did a review on this not that long ago, like in the last week. This is a Chanel quad and this one is uh, 362. Really pretty actually. And I really have enjoyed the looks I've done with it. Not sure it's worth the $62. I had Ulta points, so yeah, I did a full face of Chanel video. You can check that out, but I do like that one. Here's a palette I like, but I actually think this one I am gonna get rid of because I just don't really use it that much. This is the Smashbox, what's this one called? This is the Punked palette. It's nice, it really is. I think the formula is lovely, but I feel like I don't wear these type of colors a lot, and I have these type of colors in other palettes, so. Gonna get rid of this one. I can give that to someone else because yeah, it's in good condition, so yeah. Um, let's see, this little one by MAC. This is the Burgundy Times 9, if I can open it. This one is really nice. Um, I think MAC's formula is pretty underrated. Their mattes blend really, really well. I think this is a lovely palette and nice and compact really enjoy it. Um, okay, Dose of Colors. I've got some of their five pan palettes. This one is the Blushing Berries. Really nice. I think this matte formula is fantastic. It's powdery, but it blends very well. Really enjoy that one. The Baked Browns, also really nice. Very simple, obviously, just, you know, brown eyeshadows, but very basic, but good. The Marvelous Mauves, I think maybe my favorite. I just really love mauve tones. And this one is really, really nice. Really enjoy it. Definitely keeping those. 
This stack back here is my magnetic palettes and I'm definitely not getting rid of any of these. I try not to buy single shadows very often though because I don't get as much use out of them. This little palette here is mostly a lot of discontinued shades from ColourPop and I think some are from the Shop Miss A website, but those are good, definitely enjoy it. This one here is a bunch of depotted ColourPop palettes. These are like their older palettes, like the Dream Street, the Zodiac, the Yes Please, and then one other one that I don't remember, but I still like those. Um, but yeah, I tend to kind of forget about these, even though they're great. And so that one was a Z palette. These are from the Shop Miss A website, which is definitely what I would recommend. These are all ColourPop Single Shadows. Wonderful. Um, this one, let's see. This, whoops, uh, this one's a lot of indie brands. So here I have some from Davina, Terra Moons, couple others, M Cosmetics, got some good stuff in there for sure. And this one here, let's see, I don't even remember. Okay, yeah, this one is, these are JD Glow. Those four are Cleonad. And then these here are Inglot. I really like Inglot. Their formula is really nice. That's a really underrated brand these days. Um, the Cleonad are amazing, super intense multi-chromes. And then here we have, oh yeah, Coastal Scents. So sad they're gone, but this is my colorful Coastal Scents palette. Um, definitely still love that. That's a good one. And then this one is my Coastal Scents Neutrals palette. Lovely. Still use this. I love the greens here. Those are really nice. So yeah. And then I've got one more that is magnetic. And these are Makeup Geek, except this bottom row here is the Menagerie Cosmetics Feral palette. They're almost the same size, almost. The Menagerie ones are just like a hint bigger than the Makeup Geek, but they look nice all together here, actually. This one like is very aesthetically pleasing to me, even though these are not quite exactly the same size. I love all those. Man, okay, I got a lot of good eyeshadows. I need to use more. All right, let's talk about one of my favorite brands, Natasha Denona. I love their eyeshadow formula. It's probably my number one. I have a lot. They're not even this... There's even more over there in another stack. Um, the Retro Palette, amazing. I just hit pan on this one. I wasn't even trying to. I don't try to hit pan on eyeshadows. I just happened to hit pan on that shade because I love it so much. Um, the Biba Palette, wonderful, amazing. <laughs> Very basic, but the formula is unreal. The Gold Palette, another one I have neglected. I need to put this in my shop, my stash. I still want to get the mini gold. I have some mini palettes too that I'll be sharing. Um, I don't have the mini gold, but it looks amazing and I would love to get it at some point. Another one of my favorite palettes ever in my whole collection is the Metropolis. I mean, I definitely love warm tones and the greens. This one is, it's just stunning. It really, really is. The Glam palette, this is more neutral slash cool toned. Very lovely, enjoy it quite a bit. The Sunrise palette, I did a look with this. I actually have a whole Natasha Denona playlist, by the way, you can check that out because I've done looks with a lot of my Natasha Denona palettes. This is the Sunrise, very lovely, perfect for spring. The Midsize Zendo, uh, amazing. One of my favorites. A lot of people didn't like this one, but I think it's great. This is a really fun color story because you do have a lot of neutrals, but you have some pops of color as well. I find that one to be very versatile. The Love Palette, pinks, purples, stunning. Then we have the Bronze. Yes, I have a lot of Natasha Denona. <laughs> Warm Tones. Amazing. Then the Safari palette. A lot of people didn't like this one, but I actually do enjoy it. I do want to put this in my shop, my stash soon. I find this very lovely and I actually don't really have a hard time with the formula. I know that some people did, but I really enjoy that one.
This pile is a few different brands here. Um, I have more Pat McGrath palettes in another stack, but this one is, I think, yeah, Golden Opulence. And this is one of her six pan palettes that was limited edition. Absolutely amazing. This one is stunning. I love, I love the Pat McGrath formula. I really do. Her mattes are, I think, really underrated. Um, more Juvia's Place here. This is the Nubian 2. This is a fun color story, actually. This is one I want to get more use out of. Um, I really love this like dark, dark purple matte here. That's one of my favorite shades in the palette. It doesn't look as exciting, but on the eyes, that one's really pretty. The Saharan. This one is really interesting. I really enjoy like these some of these brighter red orange shades. This one's very lovely. I enjoy that one quite a bit. Um, here we have back to some Odin's Eye, the Saga of Freya. This is the chapter one Tears of Freya palette. Actually, I really do enjoy this one, but I feel like this one, I definitely have the colors in other Odin's Eye palettes and just other palettes in general. Out of all of my Odin's Eye palettes, this one is definitely the least exciting to me, so I am actually going to let that one go. Someone else can enjoy that. Their collab palettes were so well done. The Red Dragon palette is amazing. Oh my gosh, that green shade and this red and this dark burgundy, amazing. The Hummingbird palette by Tina, one of my favorites. I think this is one of my favorite colorful palettes in my whole collection. I think it is lovely. So yeah, definitely keeping those. Here's a palette I love, but I wish I used it more. This is the Sydney Grace and Temptalia palette. This is one of them. Which one is this? I always forget which one I bought. Yeah, this is the Radiant Reflection in Light. And Jewel Tones, hello, stunning. Why am I not using this one more? Definitely want to put that in my shop, my stash. Here's one that I actually think, you know, this is the original Nubian by Juvius. This is a nice warm tone palette, but I think this is very similar to the Tarte Toasted palette. And I think I actually prefer the Tarte Toasted palette over this one. So this one I am actually going to pass on. And here's one that makes me sad, but I do think I'm gonna let this one go. This is the BH Cosmetics Sylvia Ghani palette. I think this one is great. I really enjoy the BH formula. This is one of my older BH palettes, and I really don't like the highlighters in this. I really don't like them. They are so chunky, but the eyeshadows are really fantastic. I just feel like having those highlighters in there makes the palette unnecessarily large. So this one is going to be going. And then we have Urban Decay. Yeah, I still have a couple Urban Decay palettes. The Born to Run. This is an older palette in my collection, but I still really love it. I did a look with this a while ago, maybe like five or six months ago, but I think that one is very, very lovely. Let me pull over this stack here, which has a lot of color pop here. The Ofra Glitch palette. This one, I still like this one. This is currently in my shop, my stash. It's an older palette, it's all shimmers, but putting one of these all over the lid and then just throwing any matte from another palette in the crease actually works really well for a nice, simple, fast look. Um, this is what I kind of considered getting rid of, the Oma Beauty Black Magic Palette. The formula is great, but because of the color story, I just don't end up using it as much. Um, these shimmery shades are really intense. They look like they are pressed glitters, but they are not. They are regular eyeshadows that are more glittery. So. This I have a hard time doing more daytime looks with, but I do enjoy that one. So yeah, I think I'm gonna keep that one. Uh, here we go, some ColourPop, the Hocus Pocus palette. This is a really fun color story. I think this one is great, especially for autumn. It's really, really nice. The Orchid You Not, I got this one earlier this year. Really lovely, beautiful, like dark purples. Very, very nice. And then the wine and only, this one is fantastic. More like reddish burgundy tones. Amazing, love that one too. Um, and then the Lilac You A Lot, which is a lighter purple palette. 
I think this one is really, really nice. And I like that this one, you get these two darker purples there. And yeah, but you can use some of these lighter shades just all over the lid for like a light ethereal look. Similar to that, but I think different enough for me is the All Amethyst palette. This one is also lighter purples, but this pulls a bit more like periwinkle. You've got this amazing shade up here that is like a blue to purple. This is a really nice palette. I think this is a really fun color story. They did a great job on that one. The Sweet Talk palette, this is an older palette that I still enjoy. Coral tones, peachy, perfect for spring. You need to use that one. And if you love pink tones, the By the Rose is so nice. I love this one so much. It is very, very lovely, amazing formula. Very nice. Let's go through this basket here, which has my Sigma palettes and then a couple others. Um, another from Urban Decay, the Ultraviolet. A lot of people did not like this one, but personally, I think it is really nice. And I like that these are a bit less pigmented because then I can do more daytime colorful looks. And I think it is lovely. Okay, I think the time has come that I'm gonna let the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette go. I have used this so much and I still enjoy it. I just have decided that I've used it so much and it's definitely the oldest palette in my collection, I'm pretty sure. Um, I've hit pan on almost every shade and I just think I need to let it go because I have these shades in other palettes, but I mean, I more than got my money's worth out of that one. So I'm definitely happy about that. Um, one more from Dose of Colors, the Friendcation palette. The shimmers in here are so beautiful. This is a really, really lovely palette. Um, Elf Cosmetics. Now, I really have to say Elf is not my favorite formula for eyeshadow. I love their blushes and foundation, concealer, but I just find their eyeshadows to be a bit on the chunky side. However, the Retro Paradise is such a fun color story. I enjoy it so much. I do want to keep this one, but I just don't really buy e.l.f. eyeshadows anymore because it's just not my favorite formula. I have one palette left from Anastasia and that is the Norvina palette. And I really enjoy this color story, like periwinkle, pink, purple. This is a good palette. I've hit pan on a few shades in there. Definitely keeping that. And I do, I love all my Sigma palettes. I think Sigma, this is their newest palette, the new Mod palette. This one is really nice. This one I did buy full price because I did want it right away. Pinks and purples, it's lovely, but Sigma has a lot of sales, so all the rest of my palettes I got for like 30 or 40% off. The Sigma Warm Neutrals, really, really nice here. Kind of burgundy tones, some browns, lovely. The Ambiance Palette, which is a pretty standard warm neutral palette, but it's lovely nonetheless, and I really do enjoy it. The Enchanted Palette, which is more sparkly, ethereal, lovely spring tones. That one is a lot of fun. And the Untamed may still be, I think my favorite out of the ones I have are this one and the new mod. I really enjoy this color story with the green, the pop of blue, the purples. This one's really versatile and I think it is fantastic. Alrighty, we are on the last stack here of palettes and here we have more Pat McGrath, Natasha Denona, and Juvia's Place. Um, my mini Natasha Denona palettes, I have the mini Glam, beautiful. <laughs> Love that one. I did consider getting rid of Mini Leela just because I don't really use it all that often, but I do still enjoy it. And this purple to blue duochrome is so cool. Yeah, I like it. Although that is probably my least used out of my Natasha Denona palettes. The Mini Love, this one is really lovely. I enjoy that quite a bit. It's very different from the full size Love. Um, the Mini Biba. This one, I will say, out of the mini palettes is probably the most similar to the full size, but this one pulls more peachy than the full size Biba palette. And I like that this one has a cream to powder shadow. This is the only mini palette I think that has that so far. 
And probably my favorite out of her mini palettes is mini zendo i just think this one is amazing every shade is stunning this silvery blue is amazing <laughs> love it so much i love these peachy matte shades yeah mini zendo definitely my favorite out of her smaller palettes I do have these two small Pat McGrath palettes and I've kind of considered decluttering these. Not that they're not good. They are. They're really good. I just don't really use them that much. This is the more colorful one, which is the mini subversive. And this one's really, really nice. I don't use these that much, but they are really good. Um, some of those shades are in one of her larger mothership palettes. And then the mini Sublime. Yeah, I like this one a lot. These are amazing. Like these foiled shades here are just so metallic. This shade here that is like a matte with shimmer in it, that one is kind of unnecessary to me. I just wish they had just put in another, another metallic because I just use mattes from other palettes. So I'm gonna keep those, but honestly, I don't get that much use out of them. Um, Juvius the Berries palette really like this one i think these shades are really really nice and this one is actually really nice too but i've decided i don't really need it this is the violets by juvius i just don't use this that much and as you can see like in my color pop palettes and my single shadows i have these lavender tones i'm just not reaching for something like this a whole lot so i can just give that to someone else and then last up, I've left my most expensive palettes, the larger 28 pan Natasha Denona, the purple blue. Yes, so pricey. It's crazy. These cost $239 full price. I bought the bundle for, I think, $310 for both, which is still insane. I know it's so expensive. And the green brown. This one is really, really nice. I think the formula is somehow extra special on this palette. There's just something so smooth about the metallics. You don't need a wet brush or anything. And then I do have three of the larger Mothership palettes by Pat McGrath. And gosh, I love these. I don't use them as much as I should, honestly. This is the newest palette to my collection, Divine Rose 2. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. I got it for 30% off and I've wanted it for a long time. So I was happy that I could get that one on sale. And then we have this one, which is Mothership 2. Yeah, lovely. Absolutely lovely. This green shade, amazing. But you get a lot of here, more neutral shades. This one, you can do a lot of everyday looks. Lovely. And then last but not least is Mothership 5. Yeah, this one is really beautiful. I love this dark purple matte. I love the red. Yeah, I really enjoy the Mothership palettes and I'm really happy that I got Divine Rose 2 on sale. So yeah, let me show you what I decluttered. Not a lot, but you know, better than nothing. <laughs> So this little pile here is the declutter pile. Only seven palettes, but you know what? That is okay. I don't declutter just to declutter. And yeah, I can give these to someone else. Most of them, well, I don't know. The Too Faced Chocolate Bar is pretty old, but the rest are in pretty good condition. So yeah, getting rid of seven palettes, which means I'm keeping 96, which is a lot, but hey, I love eyeshadow palettes. I don't want to declutter just to declutter. I think I have a really nice collection and I am on a low buy this year, so I'm trying not to buy too many palettes and also be able to use the older ones in my collection. So yeah, that is it. If you want to see more, check out the eyeshadow palette playlist because there's a ton of eyeshadow palette related videos there and check out the other declutter videos in the series. I will link those. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching.